Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how we can create this cinematic effect in a Canva on a few minutes. Actually in this video I made a huge mistake as you can see the quality of the text is not so good. This is because the text what I made that was too long. So this is a lesson learned. Use a shorter text. But before we dive into the tutorial, I have a quick favor to ask. If you like my content and find it valuable, please take a moment to hit that small like button and subscribe to my channel. Is it really helps to keep creating content for you? Thanks, and now let's get started. So this video was just ended. Go into the other Canva page. Go into the video section, choosing the blank uh, video format. And the first thing what I need, I need an element, I need a square filling the whole page. And now click on the shift button. I can reduce the size. The, while I uh, holding the shift, as you can see, the aspect ratio is. Uh, is the same. So even if I just move into left or up and down, the ratio is uh, keep as original, which is very important with that we have our same uh, same uh, rectangle as the as the canva. In this case, this is the this is the best. This is, I need, need the same as need the same uh, ratio. So I go into the position and move into middle and center and changing the color to black. And now go into the text, add heading, and I just uh, Canva teacher, not teacher tutorial due to. The, the, this the whole text, the, the full length text was too long, and actually, you will see in the next uh, few minutes why is it uh, why it was not that good. I have to zooming out this text very, very badly. Then in this case, the quality is uh, not so good. So I just uh, selecting the whole text, choosing a good. Uh, font type just double click here on the search and already see the different categories go into the bold and i just have to find a nice bold uh, text type all right you're going back use this uh, Aerospace bold and now go into the spacing and the letter sp letter spacing adjust the decrease a bit like this and moving the text box increasing the size of the text box and but uh, the text box both end has to be below the the black rectangle and now i can uh, increase the font size until i reach a point the text is dropped to two line i just going back to one and i think this one is already better than uh, was before i just move the middle and center opening a new page also and I just have to download this first page as a PNG and I just need the page one download and dropping this image to the second page going to the elements I just need a video I now I'm using the same one filling the whole Canva, go into the position, layers, 
moving the text to the top, removing the background, and just zooming out a bit and start to increase the size of the text. And this is why it's important, the text uh, size. I think, the, or the length of the text. So that was a mistake what I made before the text was too long. So I have to increase the size, uh, zooming the text very, 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 to very, very huge. And in this case, the whole text was, uh, start to be pixelating. Maybe for some project, this pixelated text is already good but i think for most of the project is not a best not not not, opt, 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 not optimal i'm going to the position arrange and put into the middle now i uh, just uh, still the text is selected i'm going to the animate create animation click and start to hold the shift button again Yes. The reason why it's uh, holding the shift, in this case, the, I keep the, the text in the middle. Not If I just moving the mouse a bit up and down, the text will be not moving up and down, just to left. Uh, movement style, it changed it to smooth. And might be the speed. I just reduce the speed. Increasing the yes, now you can see already the the text is much better than uh, the, the original one, and just uh, stealing the text from the original page. I just deleting it, and here I just cropping the visibility of the text. And now, of course, here is not visible. I'm just moving to here when I can visible it. First of all, position center and animate. I need the burst. I love this uh, effect or animation on enter and just uh, reducing the intensity. And now I can see the final outcome. As you can see, still a bit pixely, but much better than was before. And as you can see, the, the text in the bottom is also very nice. Or if I would not use an other uh, effect, I can uh, crop to here and like to here and now selecting this one and the burst note i just click on the burst again remove animation and just block on exit and like this has to be in the same hopes in the same position i have to see it now no okay yeah, this is a problem when it's, yeah, now it's a good same position. When we are uh, duplicating an element, the element is not duplicated on the same position. That's always duplicated on a few uh, pixels further. So what's wrong now? Yeah, I can see. Now it's fully, fully, fully in the same position. Yes. Yes, this is important. If I do this trick, like with the text, we always have to be care about the, the, the two texts or two elements, regardless what we are using, has to be in a, exactly the same position. And now it's, yes, working as expected. So I use two different animation. 
animation type and one text this is a this is a trick we have to split it and uh, we have to move them to the same position to overlap each other then one animation type is in the entry one in the exit and it works very very fine and the whole animation this cinematic is i think it's uh, amazing i love this uh, love this uh, trick hope so you also like this uh, tutorial if you really like it please do not forget to hit that small like button subscribe to my channel leave a comment if you're struggling anything in a canva or any other ai tools please also visit my facebook page you can find the link in the description where you can find uh, lots of other Canva tutorials, not only from me, also from other uh, Canva experts. Plus, you can find a bunch of text to image uh, generation prompts for different kinds of uh, applications. So if you're also interested in this area, please feel free to visit my Facebook page. But now this tutorial is really going to the end. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Ciao.